Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the Bitcoin chart here, some resistance and support levels to be aware of when trading today. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's get into the charts. So to begin with, what do we kind of have a potential here for? In my opinion, on the Bitcoin chart, we have the potential for a range. A few factors to bear in mind. The uptrend is very strong. So we are in a strong uptrend at the moment. Factor number two is that each dip is getting very heavily bought. So with those factors in mind, let's think to ourselves, how could we trade what we have right now? Can you see the areas of resistances and supports? The area of resistance is fairly clear where we have this block of resistance up at those highs. And then the area of support is down at this block of support down here. So we have our area of resistance and our area of support. So what we know is that what do we like to do when, when we're talking of the highest probability trades? We think to ourselves, we have a potential range. We want to be shorting near the high of the range and longing near the low of the range. Most people actually let their emotions get the better of them. And you will see people shorting the lows and longing the highs. That's obviously not what you want to be doing when it comes to trading. You have to remove those emotions of the fear when price is dropping and the greed when price is rising and really flip that on its head. Um, and I do understand that shorting here might not be for everybody. Uh, you have to come to this decision yourself. I'm just giving you some ideas on a chart. You have to make the actual trade decision yourself. For, my, for me, I'm comfortable scalp shorting the high of a range. Um, but I know and understand many people do not feel comfortable shorting in such an uptrend. So an, another strategy could be instead of shorting here, you know, if we get a retrace, you can then take a, a, a long position, for example. And so you're just longing the dips rather than trying to short the highs, essentially. Um, myself, I would view this as a, as a scalp short. You know, the thing is, if, if I take a loss on it, it, it doesn't affect me. If I take the loss, then you know what, I'll, I'll, I could just switch into a long after it's hit my invalidation. It's really not the end of the world. Uh, but I feel we have a nice potential range here. Obviously, you know, I acknowledge the, the strength is 100% to the upside. The momentum is to the upside. But I have a nice potential range here that I'm, I'm happy with. If we break to the upside of the range, I already know the levels that I'm aware of where I'd be trading to, to the upside. 19,500, 19,800, really simply all-time highs. You're looking at 22 thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars all-time high strategy and all I, and i will also acknowledge that there is not much resistance to the upsides we are down to the last three levels on the chart it's, it's the resistance is running out let's just put it like that um so the momentum and strength is with the balls i acknowledge that and that's why i prefer to keep shorts very quick and i like to keep my longs you know let them have the potential of running a bit longer um but that's the range that I have for you with some levels of resistance if we break the high of the range, which we have to acknowledge is definitely possible and, and, and arguably more likely that we break up from here. But again, shorts are very, very quick. Likely by the time you see this video, I will be out of the, the trade, but I still hope this has been beneficial. Um, and to the downside, if we break to the downside, we have 18,500. I'll show you, by the way, what happened here on this move to the downside. As we know, we like to trade the CC and we take our fib from low up to high. We put this onto the CC template and the CC got front run. So you can say this is a bullish reaction because a lot of people are waiting to buy here. And when price front runs it like it did, um, you know, you get the you get the move back up, you kind of swing failure pattern almost the lows, and then everybody waiting for these lows is, is forced to buy in higher. So that's one thing that I would, would bear in mind, that that was a bullish reaction, arguably off the lows. So I wanted to highlight to you why we why we were seeing this potential of, of the bottom of the range in that region, and now why we're coming up to the higher the range once more, which is a weekly. We have a weekly resistance here, which, you know, is a, is a big resistance. So, you, you know, you did get, the, you did get a, a big pullback from 19,400, but... Um, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you to, to um, you know, go over those low and highs, how we trade the range until it breaks. If you have enjoyed it, as always, I would appreciate a like down below and remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those key updates that I've been giving to you. That Ethereum update that I gave to you last month was 
such a big money maker. Uh, so I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, have a brilliant week ahead. And if you are interested, I got another contenders educational live stream for you tonight. This is for all of the contenders and all of the champions. We got an educational live stream for you. And then on Sunday, we've got another live trading series.